All right, today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be showing you some reasons why you should sleeve your cards, and then I'll be showing and explaining how to double sleeve your cards, if that's something you'd like. Um, I do recommend sleeving your cards, as I'll show you some examples. Um, spot the cards that you think have been used a lot. Yep, clearly in the middle, this nasty yellowish brown. Uh, and you'd be thinking, what what I do? Did I rub dirt on these or something? No, that is just from hands, <laughs> sweat and hands. Um, you can see it's pretty white, pretty white, and then a nice yellow grossness banner. And um, some of these lands are like the same, and you can tell where it, like the same edition, you can tell where it starts to turn white from the ones that I used a lot. And it goes, yeah, it just gets pretty grimy and pretty nasty. And I'll show you some other examples, like right here, some islands. Uh, ew. Like I'll, I'll compare these three islands. Let's do that. Uh, look at the border of the island. It's quite dirty, quite just scuffed up, just from like sliding on tables, uh, shuffling, food, fingers, grease, anything really. Who knows what happened? Ugh, who knows what that is? No, I definitely don't know. And this one looks pretty clean, so just do like a little border comparison, like the whiteness on white. That one's all right. You can still see some grime and stuff there, and there's a big spot of grime. This one is quite discolored and pretty gross and got a bunch of speckles of stuff. So that just happens if you don't sleeve your cards even with one generic sleeve. And um, I'll show you just some other examples of wear and tear. Um, yeah, some other example, kind of a dirty plains against a cleaner forest, just a dirty border. Um, this, like this happens from shuffling and stuff. Just the border loses some paint just from shuffling so much. And this card is a little bit more severe. There's mostly no pain around the corners. You can see against my hand. And that's just from like lots of play, sliding, grabbing, who knows what, shuffling. And like same with this, like that little white spot just happens from shuffling, who knows, just regular wear and tear. And it's not like I purposely have my hands dirty or anything. Um, they're pretty clean when I usually play. So it's, yeah, it just happens with normal use. And I do have a bucket of water over here that we'll be doing some water tests on in a little bit. First, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to double sleeve uh, your cards. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but uh, it works pretty well. I'm going to show you first with the, these are, all the clear sleeves are KMC Perfect Fits. This is a KMC Hyper Mat and uh, Perfect Fit, and this is a Dragon Shield. It's a little bit trickier to double sleeve a Dragon Shield because it's quite a tight fit, but there's a little, a little trick you can do. So first, let's uh, double sleeve in the KMC Perfect Fit and then put it in the KMT Hyper Mat. Um, you want to do this a little bit counterintuitive, actually put the top inside the sleeve, the perfect sleeve, which is a very tight fit, very nice. And then just a little bit different, so the opening is on the bottom for this case, and then you take it and you slide it into the KMT Hyper Mat. And sometimes there'll be a little bit of lip there that's pushing down and will come up, so you have to just slide it in nicely. And that's how you double sleep. Um, you just do it that way so there's a little bit more protection on the front. There's actually no opening. And if anything happens, uh, the liquid or whatever has to travel all the way down here. And then through this opening before it gets any contact with the card. So it's just very secure. And um, you won't get any like any like corners like getting from shuffling and stuff. And these will be fresh. And the yellowness won't even happen. And now let's go ahead and double sleeve uh, with a dragon shield. I'm going to be testing just some mountains today so we can kind of have a baseline since they're all the same color pretty much. Again, with this one, you're going to be top, you're going to be putting the perfect fit on uh, top first. So the opening is at the bottom. The thing is with the dragon shields, um, these are just the matte dragon shield. Um, it is a bit of a tight fit. KMCs do work a little better. Sometimes, yeah, you see what happened there right at the end. A lot of friction between the the sleeve and then the inner and then the actual sleeve pushes the card down and the sleeve just stays there. So a little trick to do is let's get this out of here. All right, you take another card and place it behind it, not even on the sleeve, and then you go ahead and place it and put them both inside the dragon shield sleeve, and then you see right there sometimes can bend and I don't really like that there we go and then you push them both in and hopefully the pressure from the back card keeps uh, 
the perfect fit on without sliding up. And then you go ahead and remove the back card and it fits quite nicely. And um, this is a Dragon Shield mat and it fits very good. It's a little bit snugger than this. I use these for my Werewolf deck uh, because the KMC and Matt and Perfect Fit slide in a little bit easier and I do flip those a lot. And I would just double sleeve any other cards, uh, probably just in the Dragon Shield because I like the Dragon Shield. But again, there could be just a little bit of lip there. So I have these and then also we're going to just do another baseline test just in case you single sleeve. This is just a Perfect Fit. I'm going to just put it in through the bottom. Dragon Shield, just put it in through the bottom. And then a KMC Hypermat. Alright. Let's do a little bit of water testing. Move some stuff out the way. Alright. So these two are double sleeved cards. This is a double sleeved in a KMC Hypermat in a perfect fit. And this is double sleeved in the Dragon Shield in a perfect fit. So, um, obviously... Instead of bringing like a spilled drink to the card and bringing the cards to a spilled drink, I'm going to just dunk it in the bottom. There should be no water clearance because uh, no water is even reaching the top. So I'm just going to do this for both of them and just hold it for a little bit and see if anything makes it through the bottom of the cards. Even though the only opening is at the top. Go ahead and wipe them on the towel that's here. And yeah, it doesn't look like anything went through. So now I'm going to do a full submerge on both of them. Um, and you can tell they have a little bit of opening. How do I get this to focus well? So there's a little bit of an opening at the front. So, But I wonder how far the water will travel. So I'll like leave them on the water for about 10 seconds. Just push them under. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. All right, let's go ahead and remove these. Let's do a quick wipe off. And I'm just gonna, then we'll just do a little quick camera look. It does look like some water. You can tell I made it through the first sleeve. And same with this one, you can see like it pushing against it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my hands off, just on my jeans real quick. Go ahead and remove the perfect fit. And you can see that they definitely made some water inside there. There is a little bit of water at the edge, but I'm not sure if the card made contact with any. And the card feels perfectly dry. Doesn't look wet at all. Perfect. Now let's do the same with the dragon shield. And this one, I'm a little bit worried because uh, it did lift up a little bit the perfect fit, so the bottom might be exposed just to a tiny bit of water. Yeah, you can definitely see some water made it inside there. Yeah. And looks like maybe some water touched the bottom of this card. Just because it was sticking out a slight bit. Uh, you can just see a tiny bit of water on there. So there might be a little bit of water damage. But overall, um, from here on, it is completely dry. The only exposed part was because it got lifted up a little. This one, I don't think I wet at all in the slightest. So very cool. And then again, I'm gonna just these are just single sleeves, KMC Hypermat, uh, Dragon Shield, and a Perfect Fit. I'm just gonna do the first dip it test just to see if water makes it through uh, without even touching the top. Just hold this for a few seconds. Yeah, should be good. Go ahead and give them a little wipe off. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And it's not really showing any water made it through, so they are like airtight and watertight. Very cool. Now I'm going to do a little bit of a submerge, and um, they all have a bit of an opening, so I assume that they might just get filled with water. The perfect fit is quite a tight fit on a card, so maybe this one will take the least damage. But let's see. So I'm going to do it for about 10 seconds again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Go ahead and just do a quick wipe off. Then I'll do the show to the camera. Let's get the water a little bit back. Okay, and let's just take a quick first initial glance 
it looks like the dragon shield got water definitely on the inside about an inch down yes this is uh this is dragon shield it looks like the kmc hyperman also got some water till about right there so it would have some water damage the perfect fit let me see, let me wipe it off a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell. Right there, oh no, yeah, definitely water got in here. You can see a little like air bubble on the inside. So I'm going ahead and remove the perfect fit just to confirm my suspicions. Yeah, it definitely looks like water got in there and you can definitely see water all over the card. So this card is going to be water damaged and that's just a single sleeve. Now let's look at the KMC Hypermat. You can already see some water damage setting in right there. Yeah, <laughs> it's starting to swell up. Um, it didn't really make it very far. Um, the only water damage was at the top in a little bit. Actually, it, it did go all the way down right here, uh, but this side is pretty clear. But yeah, definitely some water damage. And then let's look at the dragon shield. And it is some total water damage. It's actually starting to like peel gross and it made it did any of it make it to the bottom no well none of it made it to the bottom maybe about halfway on each side some water damage so yeah if you're gonna be single sleeving your cards there will be some water damage if you <laughs> submerge them in water the perfect fit got water all over it but it's not starting to swell yet so maybe you could just wipe it off real quick, but you can tell it's starting to swell up right there. And the other ones definitely took some water damage. And um, the double sleeve cards, they look fine. Uh, this is just a speck of water from me wiping off the other cards, but really no water damage on them. And eh, wait, wait a minute. I don't know what that is. Yeah, but it would be on the bottom if there was because that was the opening. Yeah, looks pretty fine to me. I know one of them had just this tiny bit of water, but I wiped it off and it was fine. And these ones are pretty much ruined now. So yeah, um, there's a little show you how to uh, double sleeve your cards or sleeve them and why you should. And with a water test. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed.